Missouri Congressman and former chair of the Congressional Black Caucus, Emmanuel Cleaver, joins me now. He's a supporter of Hillary Clinton's. Congressman, thanks so much for joining us. Good to be with you. So your fellow congressman and fellow CBC member and civil rights icon John Lewis said today that he never saw Bernie Sanders during the civil rights movement in the 60s, but he said he did see Bill and Hillary Clinton. Now, Bernie Sanders was involved in the civil rights movement in 1962. He was arrested for protesting segregated schools in Chicago. He was at the march on Washington. Is this fair criticism? Well, I, I, I'm not sure that uh, that has uh, very much to do with uh, the decision that we made, but uh, John Lewis obviously uh, has the history uh, and the credibility uh, to uh, speak about what he saw during the, the uh, the, the very turbulent days uh, of the civil rights movement. Uh, and and uh, I don't think there's anything that uh, Bernie Sanders has done or said uh, that would cause us to believe that he is anti-civil uh, rights. So I, I think that, that issue is settled by uh, a number of things, including the way uh, uh, the, uh, seg the, the senator has voted. Uh, what we're simply saying, uh, and I think what John Lewis was saying, is that uh, uh, with, her, with, with uh, Hillary Clinton, we have boots on the ground. Somebody who's been there and was visibly there, it doesn't negate uh, all the other unnamed, faceless people who participated in the march. I mean, there were 250,000 people at the march on Washington. Right. All of those people are civil rights icons, as, it, uh, as I look at it. I don't doubt Hillary Clinton's support for, for civil rights, and I don't doubt that she's been a supporter of the CBC. Uh, and the issues you care about. But in 1964, she was a Goldwater girl. I mean, she wasn't, I mean, by her own description, she was a Republican back then. I mean, she was in high school, but, but she, was, she was not doing what Bernie Sanders was doing at that time. Well, uh, the, the thing that I think we all have connected with uh, was that after her uh, awakening, um, Hillary Clinton was able to uh, participate in uh, programs and put forth policies uh, that uh, were revolutionary at the time. Uh, working with uh, the Children's Defense Fund uh, is just one. Uh, but keep in mind that back at that same time, Ronald Reagan, who is now uh, almost a deity for Republicans, uh, was a Democrat. So I, I, I think if, if we're going to get into that part of thing, I would have to say that well, Bernie Sanders has just become a Democrat. But I think the, the thing we need to focus on uh, frankly, is history. I think history says something about what a person's future will be like. And Hillary Clinton has a, a, a history of getting things done and actually visibly working for civil rights. Ben Jealous, the former head of the NAACP, as you know, he supports Bernie Sanders. I had him on my show a couple days ago. Uh, one of the reasons he said that he is backing Sanders is because in the 1990s, he said Hillary Clinton was pushing the super predator theory quote, this notion that a child at age six months could be so sociopathic as to be beyond redemption, that was frankly only ever used to describe the actions of young black men. What's your response to that? Look, I, I heard, I, I saw that interview uh, with uh, Ben Jealous, who uh, I, I have respect for. Uh, but look, uh, what he did on, on your interview, and, which is unfortunate, and kind of beneath who, uh, who, he, who I've seen him uh, to be, uh, he spent a time just throwing bomb after bomb after bomb at Secretary Clinton. I don't think that that's necessary. I think what we all, we, we need to be uh, doing, especially African Americans, is pointing out uh, to the public, to African American uh, voters uh, and others, uh, of what we have experienced with these individuals and, and, and what we've experienced will lead to what we think they can do. And I, I, I'm not sure that I, mean, I saw uh, uh, Mr. Jealous just attack after attack after attack and I've seen him on two other shows doing the same thing. I, it's unfortunate because I think everybody likes him and, and respects him. I think that's unnecessary. I don't think this is a war of black leaders trying to out dump trash on their particular uh, uh, choice uh, for the presidency. I, I, I think, you know, I'm not going to participate in that circus. I, I think it's unfortunate. Congressman Cleaver, always good to see you. Thanks so much for coming on. Good to be with you.